All right, so this is one of the best books I have found in a long time. If you're somebody that likes to DIY and fix things and do upgrades in your house on your own, this is an amazing book for that. This is the Backstage Handbook, an illustrated almanac of technical information. <laughs> and this book, what it does is it has pictures of a whole bunch of different tools, nuts, bolts, washers, screws, nails, uh, electrical outlet, everything. There's pictures of everything almost inside this book. Now what this book is for is it's a backstage handbook. This is for building sets for a theater. It's for building different locations. Uh, it's, it's for theater. Okay, it's for building things on a stage. But the tools, the fasteners, the everything you find in a hardware store is the same thing they're using as you're going to use building and creating things yourself, fixing your house yourself. And so it's, it's an amazing book. The, the amount of arguments that we have not had, Caroline and I, have avoided because of this book is awesome. And so let me give you an example of why I feel this is so important, okay? This right here, to me, is called a flat bar. I've been calling this a flat bar. I worked construction when I was a teenager. It was called a flat bar. I helped my dad remodel his basement, re-side, shingle. This has always been a flat bar, okay? So when I asked Caroline to get me a flat bar, she reads the sticker on here that says Wonder Bar, and she says, obviously it's not this, <laughs> right? And the point of this book is when you have a large group of people all working to accomplish the same thing, you all need to be speaking the same language. You all need to be on the same page. And so if I call it a flat bar, she calls it a wonder bar, and you call it a pry bar, and I'm holding something and I say, hey, can one of you hand me the flat bar? And you two look at each other and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And she says, does he mean a wonder bar? And you don't know what the heck she's talking about. It can make for a very long day, a lot of frustration, a lot of horrible arguments because we're not talking on the same page, right? And so in this book, this is called a wonder bar. So now in this house, we call it a wonder bar. But being able to know the difference between a wonder bar and a pry bar, okay, this is a very tiny pry bar, but when I tell her, can you get me a wonder bar, she hands me this. If I say, can you get me a pry bar, she says, what size? And usually I tell her the biggest one we got, because if you need a pry bar, probably need the biggest one you got. But she understands the difference, and so I can spend more time focusing on what I'm doing, and she understands what I need as I need it because of this book, right? And so the other thing is like this right here. To me, this is a can opener, right? It's always been a can opener. But if you look up can opener on Amazon or whatever, you're going to get one of these things, right? Or an electric can opener. But you're going to get one of these can openers. Or if you look up bottle opener, you're going to get one of these for taking the uh, bottle, the top off a beer bottle or a glass bottle, right? So what the heck is this thing called? Well, you look in here, and it's called a church key. So you go on Amazon, you look up church key, whole bunch of these things pop up, right? And so now that I understand the proper terminology, the common terminology, I can now find the things I'm looking for, which is really handy. <laughs> it's really handy. The other thing is I got bookmarked some pages to help you understand more about this book. But like this page right here, it has all the nail sizes and it's to scale. So like this six, six inch screw is act, or nail is actually six inches on this page. And so I can look and I can see I need a two inch, I need a nail about that long. It's called a 6D, it's two inches, right? And so then I can turn the page and I can look at all the different styles. There's common, box, finish, masonry, barbed, double-headed, cut, roofing, right? There's all these different kinds of nails. And so instead of telling Caroline 
I need like a two inch basic nail. And then she has to go guess in the hardware store. I can tell her I need a 6D common nail. And she can go to the store and she can get me a 6D common nail. And it is exactly what I'm looking for. It's exactly what I needed. And then because I have those words, because I understand that a two inch is a 6D and the common head was the head that I was looking for, I can put those into the text message. She can go and find them in the hardware store and I can get exactly what I need. Instead of just telling her I need a two inch nail and then she comes with a barb nail or a cut nail or a masonry nail, you know what I mean? Like she could have come back with anything that was two inches long. But because I know the terms that I'm looking for, I can send them to her and now she can get me perfect results. Or again, like this is the dog's leash. What is this thing called? That hooks to her collar, right? What is it called? I don't know. I was just going to the hardware store and be like, I need one of those things that hook to a dog's collar. Well, it's called a swivel bolt snap, right? Swivel bolt snap. So now I can go to the hardware store. So I'm looking for a swivel bolt snap. They can type that into the computer and they can be, it's in aisle seven, right? On the left hand side of aisle seven and I can go and I can find exactly what I'm looking for. And if I need one of those because she snapped her cable, I can go and I can look for a uh, Nyko press sleeve and then a Nyko press compression tool. And instead of buying a whole new cable, I can just cut off the end and make it shorter and I can just keep making it shorter and shorter and shorter until it's too short and then I can buy another one. But I'm saving a lot of money fixing things myself, finding the exact tool, the exact fastener, the exact everything. It has nuts, bolts, washers, ropes, pipe. Now if you're doing plumbing, if you're doing anything, there's a whole bunch of different knots that you might need to use. Uh, the other thing to really get you to understand everything that's in this book, because like I said, it's electrical, plumbing, hardware. You know, when you buy a new dryer, okay, like a washer and dryer, the dryer usually doesn't come with a plug because a lot of houses have different plugs. This has all the different plugs, right? And so I can go to the store and the very first thing they're going to ask is, what kind of plug do you need? I don't know. It looks kind of like a normal plug but there's like a weird one right i can just go to this i can find the one that my plug looks like it's a 20 amp 250 volt grounding two pole three wire now it does say for high voltage stage use uh heaters fog barrels etc and so this is more like i said it's a for theater and different things but it's an l620r so L620R is for the receptacle, if I need to replace the receptacle. And an L620P is for the plug. And so again, I can go in there and I can say I need an L620P plug. And they can look it up in their computer. There's aisle 10, right hand side. I can go, I can find LP or L620P. And I know it's exactly what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? And so it's just a really great book. Uh, the other thing is it has pictures of all the tools, not all of them, but a lot of tools. And so when you're looking at a reciprocating saw, and I tell Caroline I need a reciprocating saw, and she brings me a reciprocating saw and not a jigsaw, and I'm sitting there trying to tell her it's the one that goes back and forth like this, and she's holding the jigsaw going like, yeah, like this, and it's going back and forth. I'm like, no, it's different, <laughs> right? And I'm trying to figure out how to communicate to her what it is I'm looking for. This book, we went through this book together and now she understands. She understands the difference between a claw hammer and a framing hammer, a reciprocating saw and a jigsaw, a, all the different tools, a table saw and a miter saw, a scroll saw, a band saw, a bench grinder, a planer, a wood planer, sanding drum, jointer. Oh, that's the other thing is it has joints in here too. So if you're connecting two pieces of wood together, oh, it has all the uh, different plumbing fasteners too. So all the different elbows, 
90 degree elbow, 45 elbow, 90 steel elbow, 45 lateral, so if it branches off, it has all the different plugs for that. It has the joinery, so all the different ways of connecting two pieces of wood together, if you want a corner, or them in the middle, or however you want. And so again, I can tell her what I'm trying to accomplish. I can show her, I can, like, I'm trying to make a uh, rabbit and dado joint. And as I'm cutting, she can be like, wait, you're cutting on the wrong side. Or wait, you're doing this. Because she can see what it's supposed to look like. She understands what I'm trying to do. She can help me do what it is I'm trying to do. And this book, oh, this book is just so good. <laughs> I just like it so much. And like I said, it puts us all on the same page. When her and I are working together, I'm not trying to figure out how to explain to her what we're doing or trying to figure out how to explain to her what we need, right? I just show her the picture, you know, and then I, that's what we need. This is why we need it, right? And then she understands, she knows what it's supposed to look like, she knows everything about it and then instead of focusing on us trying to figure out how to communicate with each other on what a reciprocating size we're communicating on how to get the project done the best we can and so our projects have improved tremendously our everything in, that we work on in the house we don't fight as much we don't argue as much because it's not we're not frustrated once a problem presents itself right when you're working on something and then a problem presents itself, you're already so frustrated from dealing with the other person that as soon as there's a problem, it's like, what else can go wrong, right? But when we're getting along and we're laughing and we're joking and we understand what we're working on and we run into a problem, how are we going to figure this out? I don't know. Let's go to this book and see if there's some kind of a fastener or a latch or something we can buy or something that we can do to make it better. And oh, I, I just really, really like this book. I feel like it's under so many people's radar. The only reason I know it exists is because of Adam Savage on Tested. He did a his favorite tools series, and this is one of his favorite tools. Now, this book is from 1994, so it doesn't have a lot of the modern things in it. It is from the mid-90s, so everything from mid-90s to 2023 isn't going to be in this book. But again, it's still, like the basics are still the basics. A nail is still a nail, a screw is still a screw, a bolt is still a bolt. You know, we haven't really changed a lot since 1994. And the things that have changed are usually like specialty things anyway that most common people aren't going to need. And so I highly recommend this book. I will leave a link in the description box down below and I cannot wait to see you on my next video.